Hey there, time now 947. You can see our hands right here. It is time for Imagine It. Right, Carl? Exactly. We're going to do a simple experiment here because one of the questions we get at the Science Center all the time is how can I do an experiment for a science fair or something like that? Okay. So I thought we'd do a really simple one to talk about some things that are important for a good experiment. All right. And so the first thing you need is a question. And I'm going to give you the question. And the question is, a pop can, if it was placed in water, mm -hmm. would it float or sink? Do I answer the question? Well, yeah, I'll think about it a little okay. bit. Give me a, give me an educated guess. This is going to be your hypothesis. I uh, see. I actually think that it would float, but I don't know if that's right. Okay, okay. you think it's going to float? Let's <laughs> let's try and see. Okay. All right. Let's. Um, we got a can of Pepsi here. Why don't you go ahead and just stick it in the water? Okay. Drop it in. We'll turn it sideways so you don't okay. get an air bubble in there. Let's see what happens. Uh. Uh. Okay. So it's a sinker. All right. Now. You could stop right there, and this would be bad, to say we've tested one can and it sinks and your hypothesis was incorrect. Right, but that's not how an experiment works, right? Exactly. You, you want to try it again multiple. and again. Exactly. So go ahead and choose another uh, pop can All over right, there. All right, we're going to go with the grape, uh, grape soda. Okay. Okay. Give it a try. Oh, another sinker. It's got another sinker. Try this one. Diet. Let's try a diet. Oh. Oh, we okay. A, we got a floater. We so got gets, <laughs> it gets interesting here. All right? Yes. So let's try it again. Because okay. this could be the one miracle can of Diet Pepsi. I don't know. All right. Another cola. All right. And so the Coke and Pepsi are both sinking. Right. Try the Diet Coke. We'll do one last one. It is floating. All right. So what conclusion do you think you could draw from that? If you have a sweetener in there, it's going to fall. Very good. Very good. Yeah. In fact, if you, um, if you look at the amount of sugars that are in some of these sodas, Ooh, wow. this one has 39 grams of fat. Uh, I'm sorry, 39 grams of sugar, mm -hmm. which is twice your daily allotment of extra sugar. Okay. okay. So um, not only can you talk about density here, the, the idea here is that the soda cans are all the same size. Right. But the amount of dissolved sugars inside are different. And so you're changing the density. You've got more mass inside the regular colas, a little bit less mass inside the diet, and so they're floating. So that causes it, okay. Um, now, one thing you're doing, if you're doing an experiment like this, you, mm -hmm. you want to keep all the soda cans the same size. You don't want to start introducing jumbo cans. Right. Right, because then, in fact, I don't even know what this is going to do. We could try it and see. Uh, it might get a little messy here. Oh. And so that looks uh, like, looks like I a... It looks like a it floater. It looks like a floater, yeah. It's a floater. Okay, so. <laughs> now, is that a diet sweet tea? I don't know. Let's see. I mean, they got a lot of variables changing right, here. Let's sure. see. Sugar's 28 grams, okay, but the so size of Okay, so it's not, but it's much can. bigger. Exactly. Okay. So the volume. So you're messing with that whole idea of density, which is mass per volume. Mm -hmm. So you got a big volume here, and the mass is a little bit different. Okay. So, Interesting. simple experiment. Don't stop when you're trying an experiment. Don't stop with one trial. Mm -hmm. Obviously, like you said, you want to try different ones. You could have the miracle can of soda that floats or sinks. Right. Um, and keep the variables constant. Don't switch out the size of the things you're testing. Use all the same size cans. So, so and just change one thing at one time. Change one thing at one time. Exactly. All right. Sounds good. Carl Nelson from the Imagination Station. You guys still have a lot going on down there, correct? Mind Better Mansion now open for a week, two weeks? Uh, three months. No, it's been open for oh, it's two been, weeks. Right? Exactly. It okay. has been open for a few weeks, but it will continue to stay open for about three months. Awesome. But today we're doing some scientific sweetness stuff. You can come down and find out if you are a super taster, if you have a heightened sense of taste. Ooh. Um, we're doing some acid based testing on candies for Valentine's Day. Okay. And of course, it's Saturday, so kids under 12 and under get in free if you're a Lucas County resident. Awesome. Imagination Station in downtown Toledo. Carl Nelson, thanks so much for coming sure. in. From there, we're going to go check out with Dave Holmes. He has a look back, basketball Friday.